So now let's see how we can modify our characters in Illustrator to make it our own. So we're going to take Chloe character for this because uh, Chloe has a Photoshop and an Illustrator version. So I'm just going to click on Chloe Illustrator. So it'll load up the artwork right here, here in our scene right there where we already have imported our Photoshop version of the character. But anyways, let's go around and edit this out. So I'm going to go around into Chloe Illustrator. I'm going to go around into uh, Chloe right here, right click, and then I'm going to click on Edit Original, just like this. So once I click on Edit Original, it just opens up just like that. All right, so it opened up in Illustrator as you can see. So we can just uh, expand this out and over here, uh, just like in Photoshop, what happens is that you got layers and sub layers so that, that, uh, so that you can modify it. So let's get ahead with the hairs and head and everything else right here. So there's hair. So I'm just going to disable uh, not the bangs right here, but let's just go around, disable these right here to get the character look just like this. So let's try a head just like this. So I can just select out the hand right here and change out the color. So I'm just going to go around, change out a brighter color right here just like that and press OK. So just like that, uh, we have this color. So I'm just going to create a new color right here and add it in so that we can just select it out and then select the color right here. I personally find that uh, Illustrator, working in Illustrator with these kind of graphics is much more easier compared to Photoshop because you can simply select them out like this, as you can see, and then fill it out because Illustrator is much more designed for uh, the these kind of graphics itself. So I'm just going to delete this out. I'm going to delete these stripes and I'm going to select the scenes out the color of the shirt into something else like red right here. And then this is going to be a bit blue right there. All right. So I'm just going to uh, change that out into something like green or something else. Let's say, for example, brown. All right. There you go. So we got our character ready uh, in a zippy just like that. So that didn't take much time to change that out. You can work around with the freckles and everything. This clip. So let me just clip it, keep it over here on the right side and change out the color right over there. I'm going to change the hair color as well. So let's get a blonde hair color for this girl right here. So let's just go around and then go around with the blonde hair color just like that. I'm going to go around over here as well. Blonde hair color just like that. All right. So we got our character just like this. Let's see if we have anything else over here. So there's the arm and everything else. So I'm just going to hit save by pressing control S right here and go back right here. So everything will update right over here according to the changes that we made and you can see that it is just ready just like that so now if i were to go to controls right here you can see that the hand colors right here it's still uh you know, yet to change so i'm just going to go around and change that out so find that out where that is in the illustrator file right here so let's go around into our eyes right here left and, and right eye there's the blinks right here so let's go around and then enable both of these out get onto the blinks and then change up the color right here just like that. So I'm just going to disable the color blinks as well, just like that over here. So once I do that, I'm going to go down and then let's go to the hand right here, just like this. I'm going to select this, 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 and this right here, and then choose out this color again. Okay. I need to enable out the layers first. So let me just enable that, enable these as well. So once I do that, I can select out all of these and then change out the color onto this right here. So I just need to select out the hands. All right. So once I do that, I can just enable this out right here and then the points as well. So these are different points as you can see. So let me just select this out, this out right here and then change the color as well, just like that. Let me just disable out these now, the flips right here, disable the flip out, disable the flip out over here as well. And then you got the points right here. So I guess like that's done. Let me just save this and get back into character animator. So it is updating as you can see right there. And then it's preparing the scene. And I guess like everything is done right here. This one, this one, this one. Let me get back to controls right here. You got the eye, you got all of the hand gestures as well. And you got these things as well. And just like that, our character has been changed over there. So that is how you can modify characters in Illustrator to make it your own and then work with it. So now if you were to go around, record this out, you can do it as uh, you would like. 
So that is how you can work with illustrator characters for uh, bringing it in a uh, character animator. So in further lessons, we're going to discuss on how to make our own characters in Illustrator. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.